So when we're talking about climate change, we are referring to the long-term warming trend over decades. Not the weather on a given day or a given week in a given location. We're talking about the long-term trend, what temperatures are doing over the course of many years, many decades. We will never totally eliminate extreme cold. What happens is you reduce the frequency of the extreme cold and you tend to reduce the intensity and the probability that in any given year and in any given place that you will see extreme cold. It doesn't ever go away. The planet's still cold. You still have the North Pole, you have Antarctica, you have very cold places. These cold places are gradually warming over time. There is some research which has shown that the polar vortex is being disrupted more frequently as the Arctic is warming. So if that happens and we see the polar vortex being disrupted more often, that could increase the tendency to see these cold snaps um, in North America and in Europe during winter. Even as the planet overall warms, we may see more of these extreme cold events because of this changed behavior of the jet stream and the polar vortex. This is a hypothesis. Scientists are not totally convinced this is happening, but there's some preliminary evidence pointing in this direction. I think the climate science community, there's a pretty strong consensus that the rate of warming that we've seen in recent decades is unusual and it is due to human activities. 97% of the studies published in the academic literature are consistent with this idea that this is human caused and that the rate of warming is unusual, at least compared to the last several thousand years. I think when you look at the fact that we've had our four warmest years in the last four years, when you look at all the indicators of warming, which are all consistent, and they all point at the exact same phenomenon, which is rising temperatures due to climate change.